These four vehicles are all fitted with Autonomous Emergency Braking or AEB systems, new technologies increasingly being fitted to our vehicles that could substantially reduce the incidence of being killed or seriously injured on European roads. AEB sensors are fitted to the vehicle, either behind the windscreen or at the front of the vehicle, and they're lasers for low speed for city, or their radars and cameras for the higher speed interurban system. They're designed to work when maybe the driver isn't, and they can brake for the driver if he doesn't, to avoid the crash occurring in the first place. These two vehicles are fitted with city-based systems. In our towns and cities, the most common injury tends to be whiplash. Very rarely life-threatening, but it is a serious injury. These two vehicles have a solution. They're fitted with a LiDAR. These systems use lasers shining six metres ahead of the vehicle. And when there's a reflection, the system will automatically break to prevent the collision. The XC60 here is very important because this was the first vehicle fitted with an AEB city system. Real world data suggests that this is actually reducing crashes by about 25% with a resulting reduction in whiplash injuries. These two vehicles are fitted with more sophisticated technology. These have interurban systems. Interurban systems are more complex and they use radars and sometimes cameras in sense of fusion to constantly monitor the traffic situation around the vehicle. If there's a potential collision uh, ahead, the system will warn the driver so the driver can react. If the driver doesn't react, then the system can take over and automatically brake to avoid the collision occurring. The interurban tests use a mobile barrow towed behind an SUV. This represents crashes on faster roads like motorways where we see more killed and seriously injured. Here, the driver can either react to a warning or the vehicle will automatically brake to avoid the collision occurring. This vehicle, this Mercedes, has perhaps the most sophisticated system here because it combines both radars here and here and a stereo camera system. So this system is more sophisticated and can identify more potential collision threats and avoid more crashes.